It's time for the Mankey Tank Challenge. Who is this Mankey Tank person, and what right do they have to challenge me in the first place? Or is Mankey Tank a washed up 80s pop band? Maybe that's it. No, the truth is, the Mankey Tank Challenge refers to this disgusting thing right here. The slack tub, the quench tank, whatever you want to call it. It's usually kind of slimy and disgusting. Now this idea for the challenge comes from Alex at Valhalla Forge, and he's in Australia. And apparently Mankey is an Australian term for scummy and disgusting. It's a good word. I'm going to try and incorporate that into daily use if I can. But anyways, slack tubs or quench tanks tend to be kind of disgusting. Most people don't clean them very often, if ever. And some tanks seem to have an almost mystical superstition about them. People don't want to clean them. It's going to destroy their mojo somehow if they get rid of the sacred scum in the bottom of the tank. I know one person that has gone so far as to sprinkle a small amount of the ashes from departed loved ones and fellow blacksmiths into his tank, and he will never completely empty that tank. He might change the top half of the the water, but everything else gets to settle to the bottom and it stays in there. My tank right now really isn't all that bad. I just cleaned it last year, or, well maybe that was two years ago anyways that I cleaned this out. I drug it out the door of the shop, turned it upside down, and I got about three inches of disgusting, slimy, gelatinous goo out of it. And that wasn't really too bad right there, but when the stuff crawled off into the bushes snarling at me, I was a little bit concerned. Now remember, I said this was a challenge. That means that when Alex presented this idea, he threw out a few more names and challenged some people to show what was in their manky tank, and those people have challenged some other people, and James Davis over at County Line Forge has challenged me to see what is in my manky tank. So we're going to take a look at the slack tank. So take a deep breath, and let's take a look. Nah, I'm not going to do that. But I have sometimes wondered why my little action camera came with a waterproof case, because I never planned to take it scuba diving. But this is a good opportunity to see what this case will do for us. Now the first thing I have to do is flip the image on this camera upside down. So is everybody nice and upside down? Let's see what's in this tank. Yeah, it's about as manky as I would have thought. I got no idea what we're looking at. Well, we'll just have to see if that experiment worked. I don't know what kind of footage we got from that. Well, another way to see what's in the tank is just to go and scoop some of it out. Let's go all the way to the bottom, which unfortunately is longer than the handle on my watering can. So I get to put my hand down in the tank, which is really cold. And I hope there's no piranhas in here or anything like that. But you never know what might be in a tank like this. Yep, it's that same gelatinous scum with rust and scale and who knows. Anybody's tank isn't manky enough? I can bottle this under the name Manky Tank and sell it for $5 a bottle just to make your tank as manky as mine is. Now the most disgusting thing I have ever found in my tank is actually dead rodents, squirrels and mice that were desperate for a drink of water during the hot, dry part of the year, somehow thought that was okay to drink, and they didn't make it. There are a few things as disgusting as a wet, slimy squirrel floating in the top of your quench tank. So I probably wouldn't use that water to make a cup of tea with. Anyways, a lot of people have been doing this. I think Alex over at Valhalla Forge has a playlist set up. If I can find that, I will link to that right up here. So you can go watch some of the other videos. 
I encourage you to check out Alex's channel at Valhalla Forge, as well as James Davis over at County Line Forge, who is the person that challenged me to this. But the bonus to this is I get to challenge two more people. Everybody I thought of initially has pretty much done this, and I think some of the people I have not seen their videos have been challenged, they just haven't done the video. So I'm going to skip over some of the more obvious names out there in the blacksmithing YouTube community, and I'm going to challenge a few people who do a lot of blacksmithing, but also do other things on their channels. So their names probably don't come to the top of the list for a lot of people. One of them I would like to challenge is Brett McAfee. So Brett, if you're listening, if you're watching, by all means, let's see what's in your tank. And the other person I would like to challenge is Anne of All Trades. Anne's channel mostly focuses on woodworking and things around the homestead, but she does do some blacksmithing, so she's bound to have a tank of water around the shop somewhere. So Brett, Anne, I hope you're good sports. Hope you don't mind, but show us your manky tanks and join the crowd. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. I hope you found that video to be at least a little bit of fun and some humor. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. Feel free to stick around, watch a few of the other videos, share the videos with your friends. Check out Valhalla Forge, County Line Forge, Anna Vol Trade, Brett McAfee, and all of the other people participating in the challenge. See what they've got on their channels. But then make time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, stay safe, wear your safety glasses. And if your arm's been in the manky tank, you might want to wash it. See you later.